Hi there, I'm Jordan. I'm one of the physician assistants here at Victory in Motion, home of knee repair, not knee replacement. Um, and I actually want to talk to you guys about the shoulder today. So I have an example right here of a patient who um, we saw them back in 2009, and this was their x-ray back then, okay? So they actually had a torn rotator cuff at the time, and because their rotator cuff was torn, um, this muscle right here, uh, we ended up doing surgery on that, okay? We repaired that tendon, and ultimately the patient has come back now um, with some increased pain recently, and now their x-ray looks like this. They have a ton of arthritis. What happened was, you know, if we, if we repair a rotator cuff tendon, you know, that's great, and that's a lot of times that's one of the solutions that people have for fixing a rotator cuff, but the problem is if we repair crappy tendon back together, then it may not stay together for the long run. Um, actually, 20% of rotator cuff repairs end up tearing as well, um, even up to 25%. And so as, if that happens and that slowly tears over time, the patient may not even know that it's torn. You know, you may not, you probably will eventually get some pain, but um, she didn't really have any pain until this past summer. So, um, you know, look how far it's progressed from that time. And if at the time when we did that surgery, if we would have had the regenerative technologies available to us that we have now, um, you know, what we do a lot of times now is we put a patch on there, which helps it heal. We also can put uh, bone marrow aspirate cells and PRP right around that rotator cuff. And it makes it so it actually has a much better chance of healing and not tearing going forward. So that's, that's the goal of what we try to do these days, but it just goes to show what can happen over a long period of time if we're not doing, you know, some of the treatments that can really help this repair to heal much better.